Here we have the serverless orchestration with AWS Dev Functions and AWS Lambda here. There are a couple of Lambda functions that I want to build as a distributed application. So essentially coordinate the orchestration of these and I'm going to do it with a step function. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that would work. First up here, uh, we have the step functions interface. I like to go to my Lambda and sort by last modified to find the two lambdas that I already built. So I have, I have a divide by two and I have an add. So next up, I go to create state machine. I think the visual workflow for prototyping is hard to beat. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I know I have two lambdas, right? So I just go through here, I drag the first one and we wanna call this thing something. So I'll just call this one add and then uh, we'll do again a second one and we'll go here and then we'll call this one um, not a lambda invoke, but we'll call this one a divide by two. So naming is great so that you know what's going on. And then we of course have to put a lambda in there. So where do we find the lambda? Well, we just have to find the function name here. So we, we know that add should be there. And then if we go here, we know that divide by two should be there as well. There we go, divide by two. So really there's nothing that we need to do because we know that they can talk to each other uh, because of the way they've been designed. And we can see that the state input is used as the payload. So let's go ahead and say next, and we can see all of the state here, which is kind of nice. And then we just go to next again, and we call this one um, add uh, and divide. Now let's go ahead and to create state machine. Perfect. Now all we have to do to run it is we could do it from the terminal or we can do start execution. And so remember, this is an important component is we need to put an X and a Y in there to trigger things. So we'll, we'll say X is 10 and then we'll do Y is 20. Once we've got that, we can start the execution and then we can see it step by step. Uh, the input again is right here. Awesome. What is the output? There, there we go. This is exactly what I designed earlier. We have the total. Now let's look at the second step function. We look at the input. That payload is passing from the first function to the second one. We look at the output. There we go. So you can chain together or orchestrate however you want these lambda functions and put them into step functions. But what's really powerful about this is the fact that you get this debugging and the reproducibility, uh, and you actually can see exactly what's going in and out of systems that you built. So I think step functions in particular are some of the more powerful ways to really build uh, next generation ML ops, as well as data engineering workflows, especially if you're using efficient and powerful and safe languages that support uh, modern compilation like Rust. And we were able to leverage these two existing functions quite easily and build a orchestration using AWS step functions.